When you clicked on this video, you were probably thinking, oh, it's just another hardcore series, nothing new. But all those other hardcore series that get hundreds of thousands of views, they could be cheating and you would never know. So in this series, I will be showing absolutely everything so you know 100% of the time it is raw, real Minecraft. So the videos will be long, but trust me, watching all the way through is 100% worth it. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an upload. We're super close to 1,000 subscribers, and welcome to Uncut Hard. So here we are in the main menu of Minecraft. So we go single player, create new world, change it to hardcore, and let's call it um, don't die. Oh, it looks like I have my caps lock on, so it's going to stay that way. Create new world. Here we go. And we're, we're doing it. We really are doing it. We're going to be doing uncut hardcore, so there will be absolutely no cuts in the video. Everything will be just straight from whatever's happening like there's no it, it might be a little boring but promise it, it does it's worth it i promise i promise if you watch the video all the way through you can you'll know me so well by the end i hope you don't get annoyed of me these episodes are going to be longer but it does help me out a lot though if you do watch them all the way through as well because just getting those watch hours as a small youtuber are just quite important so even if you just leave this running in the background while you do something else, those all those watch hours count and they help out tremendously. So if you could, if you could please watch the video all the way through. I feel like I've said that like six times in the last like 20 seconds, but here we go. Um, I want to see if I can get a sapling from here before we run away. Just in case we ever leave the biome and we don't get one. But you know, first things first, we already made a pickaxe and now we just need to get some stone. Perfect, right here. Now the first things I want to get is I do want to get a little bit of iron because I want to see if I can get some shears and a flint and steel on the first day because that means we can get food and that means that we can get some wool from the sheep in order to get a bed on the first night because that is super super important is making sure we have a bed on the first night because then we'll actually be able to sleep and not get absolutely destroyed by monsters in the middle of the night. So. Let's just grab some coal because then we'll be able to smelt a few items when we get them. I will need some more cobblestone as well because I need to actually make the furnace. But there's still some more coal. These coal veins are giant in Minecraft. I always forget. It's super, super weird, but... Hmm. Oh well. But now we just need a little bit more cobblestone to have enough to have a furnace. And is there any iron in here? If we could get like... Seven pieces... I'd be very, very happy. Anything more than that just adds on more, and it's super, super, super nice. Okay, but I am stuck in this hole. I didn't see any in here. So now we can just get out of here. Actually, no, I want more than seven. I want like ten, because I need three for a pickaxe, three for a bucket. I need one for flint and steel. Two, I need eleven. I need two for a sword and two for a shears. I'm going to grab some of these pumpkins though, because then we'll be able to make a nice melon and pumpkin farm later. Hopefully we'll be able to get some watermelons. Oh, skeleton. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I did not mean to hit that. Oh, geez. We are low on health and we got zero food, but there's a nice spruce biome here. That's, that's pretty cool. I like spruce trees. But I don't like the biome too much. I like the wood. I don't really like the biome. So I am going to make a axe because I want to get a sapling real quick. We can grab some of the wood and get a sapling at the same time. It's super, super convenient. This will only take a few seconds here. Okay, now that we did that, we just got to wait for that to drop a sapling and then we can get on our way. Hopefully it drops one very soon. There we go. Oh my goodness, there's a village right there. I didn't even see that. Did you see that? Tell me tell me if someone saw that before I showed you on screen because that would be insane that I just didn't notice that. Hey, look it, guys. We have a bed. Crazy. And they got pumpkins. That's pretty sweet. Here you go. I'll give you your seeds back. I want to be nice to these guys, I because I think I might live in the village. That might be a good idea, you know? 
I think they only got pumpkins here. Like, it's like pumpkins and wheat, I think, is literally, like, all they grow here. I wonder if they have hay bales. Oh, there were two houses there. I didn't check the sec second house. Oh, I gotta swim back over there. This is a deep, deep river. Jeez. I wonder if there's some iron in there. Ooh. Okay, what is in this house? I have a chest. Oh, hello there. Pants. I've been needing some pants. Thanks. Thank you. Alright, so more of the villages over there and I think up there. I really hope that there's actually even more to the village than just what we're finding right now because it's nice, but it's a little it's a little lackluster, you know? Oh, it's a baby villager. There's some books. Oh, bread. Yay! And potatoes. Yay! I can make an automatic potato farm. <gasps> yes. That's awesome. Okay. More stuff. We got berries and more potatoes and more logs. I don't really need the potato seeds, though. Not potato. Um, Pumpkin. I don't need the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, there is more of the village up there. So we will be doing that. But one thing I do want to do is I want to honestly just trap these villagers. I said I'm going to be nice to them, and I will. But I need to keep them all in a contained area. Because I'm going to just... I have tons of trees around, and we're in the spruce biome. So we have... I can make, like, the really big ones. And so in a, when I'm able to do that, I can just trade that all for sticks, and I get tons of emeralds. And then I can buy literally everything we need right off the bat. And there's chickens! Yay! We're getting so lucky. This is nice. Okay, so now we have a bed. I'm going to put these in my offhand because I want to steal these chickens. Come here, Mr. Chicken. Zzz, there's multiple. Where's the village that's up here? Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm also going to put the wheat in my other hand because there's some sheep. Because now I can put you all... In a nice little hole over here that I'm making just for you guys. So you all can get in the hole. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Now we have animals in here. Uh, is there a chest in there? I just see a crafting table. Oh, there's a sheep. Hi there. Another chest. Some more wood. Nice. Some more saplings. Oh, large fern. Is that is that the rare one? I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. Doesn't really even matter that much. Okay, but what I'm going to do, I am going to take this chest. Because I'm going to make a little tiny base, honestly, up here. I'm going to remove this house... And I'm going to put it down there. Okay, these doors are being so annoying. Can you stop going through them, Mr. Villagers? Thank you. But I'm going to take their beds and I'm going to put them all right here. Or maybe down here. Yeah, because most of the village... There's some people over there, but I think this is the better spot. I'm going to make them a nice... For right now, it might honestly just be a hole. But... I need to make them a nice little spot that I could keep them in, keep them safe, and then also begin trading with. So what I can do is I can make a few, um, what, dig, what do you use to dig? Shovel. <laughs> I can make some shovels. And all I'm going to do is just clear out a little area right here. Just, it's going to be a temporary thing. We can clear this out. And we can stick all of the villagers in here. I do need to go and grab more beds. Because one of these I do need to keep for myself. But there's two more beds in here. There's also books that I'll grab later. They're just really not important right now. So we grab that. And I think, is the bell up there? Or where's the bell? I have no idea where the bell is. But that is what I need. There's another house up here, it looks like. That will have a nice bed in it. Sweet. 
but I can stick all of the beds here and then when I hit the bell all of the nearby villagers will go to their beds and then I can trap them all in that area. I just need to make sure that the villagers that are over here actually end up making it over there. Is there a bed in here? No. There is a bed in here. I took that one already so there's no literally no need for me to come over here. But now we can hike up here, follow their nice villager path. Um, you guys are stuck in here. Okay, where's the bell? They're all meeting up here. Where's the bell? Aha! Ha ha ha! Okay, now we can move the bell and bring it down there. Did I grab all of the beds from in here? I think so. I think I got all the bells that we need. The beds that we need, not the bells. Okay, if he's running up there, that means there's another bed in there. I guess not. I don't know why you're running up here. I really thought that would mean because he has a bed. Okay. All we gotta do is make sure that they all path find to the beds over there. I don't think some of them are gonna know that there's beds over there. So, just make some boats real quick. Because some of them will have to be transported via boats because they're not the brightest, you know? So if we ship this guy over here, hopefully he will want... Yeah, I think he just... I think the green sparkles made him want to go to a bed. No? Do you not want to go to the bed over here? I literally don't even need that many of these guys. I just need a few. Because I don't have that many beds, it looks like. So not many can pathfind to them. This would be enough if I really need to just stop right now. But I want to see if I can just grab a few more. It just makes my life so much easier. Oh, there are some, are some sheep over here. I can shear if I had iron. I don't have any iron. But I just need to move these villagers into their new home. Because I, I, I want to make more beds. I need to make more beds. Is he in the boat? Yeah, he's in the boat. This guy, honestly, it, he can be our last one. There can be other villagers wandering around, but I just want a few of them to be relocated to this nice brand new home so I want to see if I can try and not go in the water oh we did though I think that he's gonna path find to the beds though are you not close enough no go go that way yes go that way yay okay once he gets in here all we gotta do is protect it and make sure no mobs can get inside. So we can make some fences real quick. That hopefully should be enough. We are going to have to destroy the tree though. Because that is kind of in the way. And now I wish I had more dirt. Luckily there's tons of it that we can use. Or actually, I can just mine this to make it lower. That'll make my life easier. So we have all the beds filled up. Some of them are baby villagers, so we're going to have to wait till they grow up to for them to do anything important. But we're going to need more beds eventually. But for right now, I think we're going to do pretty good. So we take some spruce plank... Or not planks. Take the spruce fences. And we put them all around here. So I said I was being nice to them, so they're nice in a, in a nice little box, you know? I'm being super nice. But again, I'm going to put my house like right up there, and so I'm going to do some stuff with these villagers. I have a whole plan, and I don't think I'm making the most sense right now, but it will make sense, I promise. And I do want to make an iron farm. Ooh, I can do that. That's right. How many do we got here? Do we have five? We have exactly five. That we can make an iron farm with. Okay. Are there more villagers around? Because you need five villagers to make an iron farm. But if there's too many, it sometimes does not want to work. 
So if we have the other villagers in a different location, that different location can be where we end up actually doing all of the trading and we put in the trading hall. And then we can have one spot that just ends up being the iron farm, which is already built over there. Aha, villager. Get in the boat. There's two villagers here. There's two villagers here. That's all we need. Get get in the boat. I'm going to need you to get in the boat. Thank you. Oh, I can't get out of here. Is there another one upstairs? Is that what I'm hearing? No? Oh, there's another one there. Why are they all running away? I want you to get back up here. Because that's going to make my life easier, okay? I don't know what to do because they're all down there. I guess I can make I can make the villager thing down there. I don't really want to, but I can do it. Yeah, um okay. I'm just kind of thinking things through in my head right now as I try to figure out what to do. So, I want to keep these villagers in a different spot because I want to make an iron farm. I want to make a automatic potato farm. Oh my goodness, there's another one. Can you get in the boat, sir? Okay, we're going to do the villager trading hall here. We're going to have the iron farm there, and then we're going to have the potato farm somewhere else. But I need more boats. So, you two... Get in the boat. I need you to get in the boat. Not this one, that one. No, get in this boat. Yes! Okay. Now we bring you over here, and you're going to get on the land, okay? Mm hmm And now you're going to get in this boat. Okay, you're going to get in this boat. You want to get in this boat? Yeah? Yeah? Yes, you do. Okay. Okay, now we take this villager. And we bring you over here. You're going to go on the land as well. Right? 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 Yes! Okay. And now we have this guy who's on the path blocks, I think. Oh no, we are on the solid ones. Okay. We have to be very careful about this because the path blocks make my life so much harder because the boats go down on the path blocks and then they don't go back up and they just get stuck on the corners of all the other ones. But we're good now. And we can bring this guy all the way over by his friends over here. Yay, this is working out so well. This is going so much better than I thought. And now we have one more villager that's up here in the house. And now we can bring him to his other friends. Ha ha ha. And I was going to destroy this house anyways because I want to put my house up here on the hill. Because then I can look down on my subjects. Ooh. Yeah, I said I was going to be nice. I think, I think that kind of... I think that kind of went out the window, you know, when you involve villagers in Minecraft. Um, there's no really nice way to do it. I feel like, oh, they all grew up. Would you look at that? Okay. Now, you four don't die. Um, I need to move them into a safe spot. I think I'm honestly going to mine out like a nice like cave trading hall. I don't know. If I move them, can I move them into this house for now? No, it's too small. I think if I get rid of this potato farm, not potato farm, pumpkin farm. I'm getting all my P words confused. If I remove the pumpkin farm, I just build a little shack here for right now. We'll be good. Because I just need to keep these guys safe. Then I can make an iron farm. I'm going to do the iron farm next because if we the earlier we get that done, the better our lives are going to be. Then I can start working on the villager trading area. Then I can just 
steal two of them and make a potato farm. And then we have infinite food, infinite iron, and then tons of trades. And it will just make our lives so easy. It's going to be awesome. I do wish that we could... Oh, I should have kept one of the... I should have kept the villagers up there. I should have kept two of them up there because I can make a breeder at the top that goes down into the bottom. I can probably move two of the villagers back up there if I really wanted to, and I think I will. So, I don't know if you're confused or not, but I have five villagers over there. That can become an iron farm because you need five villagers to create um, a quote-unquote village. And then I have four villagers over here. Two of them I'm going to bring up to the top, and then I'm going to create an automatic villager breeder. And then that will create more babies baby villagers that will go down into what i'm gonna like carve out here or something i haven't decided yet through a series of like water shoots and stuff like that so i think first things first let's destroy this and let's put the villager breeder up here i think i might just put it in the ground though because that might make it easier and then i can stick my house on top of that or something i don't know I have a plan. I don't know how I want to do it. I have so much that I want to do and I just want it to be done already. <laughs> but this is a part of Minecraft. We got projects to do. We got projects to do. So let's quickly dismantle this house. And then I'm trying to think how should I get those villagers up here? Like if I just put some job site blocks, do you think they'll like walk to it? Because moving villagers is so annoying. And trying to get them uphill while they're in boats right now is not going to happen unless I had like a piston or something. But I don't have a piston. Unless I had redstone. I thought that pig was another villager. Oh, you were going to be so... I was going to be so happy if that was a villager. But it's a pig. No. But this was a good find. This is a really good find. I was saying earlier I don't like uh, spruce biomes. And I still don't really like them as a biome but we're gonna end up living in this one because it's just too good right here it's just too good with the village anytime you have a village in hardcore you like gotta make it your base like that's the only thing you can do or like you have to start on the base or if you, you, you have to start in the village and then you make your base like really close or you have nether portals but I'm not advanced enough yet to have nether portals I don't know, I'm just I'm just blabbing as I'm trying to destroy the roof of this, and my throat is going to be destroyed after I record this episode, because of the amount of talking that I'm going to end up doing is actually insane. Because my, my mouth and throat are already starting to hurt from talking so much. But I hope that you all are enjoying, because that's what it's about. It's for you, the viewers. For you to see, eventually I think this might just end up be suffering, and I think that'd be fun to watch. So, let's just say I'm suffering for you guys. But right now I'm having fun. Right now I'm having a blast. I love Minecraft, and this is like the best part of Minecraft right now. I know, enslaving villagers the most fun. No, I'm joking. I'm talking about um, the early stages of Minecraft when you're first getting started. Brand new war world, a whole bunch of variables, and so much you have to do, and so much that there is to do like to like and you can do it however you really want it's awesome i love i love i love minecraft it is such a fun game that there's a reason why i made a youtube channel and literally play it like every single day so i can make another pickaxe because my last one had to break of course quickly mine up all this I do, I took this chest because I was going to stick a bunch of things in here. So I can do that now. I do need more food. Food would be, food would be good, but we're going to have to wait on that. As long as we're not dead, we're going to be good. Eventually I'm going to want some cows for leather and food, of course. But that is for later, I guess. Now we can just keep on mining. And I think that, yeah, trading sticks is the best bet that we got for getting the most amount of emeralds the fastest. It's just because it's such a simple trade when you have tons of wood. 
it's gonna be a lot easier the better gear I get so eventually when we get like diamonds and enchants it's gonna be so much easier to get emeralds but it's also gonna be super easy right now because I just can take whatever axe destroy a giant tree get tons of wood sell it to the villagers for like I eventually I can use zombies to like cure them and stuff but I think I'm just gonna go with whatever our price is right away which is like 32 sticks for an emerald but we can take that amazing deal and we can just do that so much over and over and over again like because you can do it like two times a day you can max them out and we can just get tons of emeralds and I just want tons and tons of fletchers I'll probably have like 20 of them nah that's probably overkill I'll take 10 I'll take probably 10 we're almost done destroying this house yay yay we're so close and now we're gonna stick a villager trader in here but I do need to sleep. Not a trader. I don't want a trader in here yet. I want the villager breeder is going to go up here. I was going to put my house, but I really don't care. Are you all still alive? Sweet. But yeah, a villager breeder is going to go up here. I'm trying to remember how to build it. I think how it goes is... I know it's a I know it's like the full size of a farm so you have something in the middle you have a you have a composter of course so that's gonna be the middle and we're gonna put water there eventually and then you hoe all the ground and you put potatoes there all around it you do four blocks I believe one two three four one two three four sweet but all you do is you end up putting a bunch of trap doors as well you end up putting trap doors on one end and then they end up stopping the adult villagers from going to bed and it tricks the baby villagers from wanting to go to bed after they're born because they they have this weird thing where they jump on the bed after they're born for whatever reason and so what we can do is we can use that to our advantage and when they go over there we can have them end up falling into a nice pit and getting moved down underneath which is where we're gonna have our villager trading hall so I believe we have the correct spot all marked out here and what we got to do is make a hoe now and one two three four yeah, it's four wide. I forgot that I don't have water in here, so the farmland is not going to stay. It's not going to stay how we want it to, because I need it to go all four. I need water. I need a bucket. I don't have any iron. Ah! Not having iron right now is honestly really, really slowing down this entire process. But it's okay, so I'm going to need a few more trap doors. That actually might have been the perfect amount when I first made them. So one, two, three, four, and then I believe it's just trap doors, but they're like this. Yeah. Trap doors are like that, and then they go out the whole span of everything. So I think if I just do it, yeah, if I place them on that block like that. And then we place them here. And now we should be all good. And then what you do is you end up creating a pit right here. And in order to trick them into thinking that there's a block there, you do have to put trapdoors here. So I do need more trapdoors. Haha. -ha. And I think this one's upside down. I don't know if that honestly matters. It might but I don't know. So let's make a few more trap doors. I think, I think that's going to be the perfect amount. Nope, I'm one short, of course. Of course I'm one short. Why wouldn't I not be one short? We're also going to need a lot of beds, and I would be using the sheep behind me to do that, but I don't have any iron in order to make them give me their wool. So... We're going to be waiting on doing that. 
but the beds are eventually going to go all side by side back here and you need to fill like the whole area there because you need more beds than there are villagers of course because you need a bed for at least every single villager and so you just cover the whole back area with them i didn't mean to place that there okay why no these can stay like that this can get destroyed And then when we place water in there, I believe it runs for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's like this eighth block or whatever. It goes down, but we dig that so the water keeps going. Or something, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to drop it down one more. They fall into the water, and they'll eventually get transported into the magical land of the trading hall, where they're going to be forced into one by one, or a one by two, technically. And they're going to have to sit there for the rest of their life trading s sticks for emeralds or potentially books for emeralds or emeralds for books or whatever. And they won't be able to use those emeralds that um, I traded to them. So I think I'm high enough to kill you properly. Just don't become smart and stand on that block over there. For right now, I can literally just do this until I have iron to do things. Please be a good amount of iron. Yes! Okay, next time I need it to make shears, but that's good for right now. I am actually going to steal all of your guys' beds. I'm not really... Oh, wait, but that's... Oh, I need them to spawn the iron golems. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions are hard. I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll leave it. I need whatever's here. I need more potatoes. And I'm going to turn all of these pumpkins into compost because I can. And then I can get, hopefully, I can get a piece of bone meal. I need just a little more. Yes, piece of bone meal. Okay, that's really not going to be that useful, but... I don't really care. Haha, -ha, another iron golem. Let's go, buddy. Okay, where are you going? I need a sword. That'd be a good idea because this axe takes way too long to recharge and to kill them for it not doing enough damage. Come on, die. 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 Yay! I'm going to steal this crafting table. Bye, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Aha! We can make that, and we can save that for whatever else we may need. So now we can go up here, and we can do everything that we need to. Did I grab that composter? Oh, I meant to. I meant to grab that composter, but there should be another one right here. Yes. I need more water. But now we can go up here and so they'll go here and sweet. They can fall down this chute, which I don't know how deep I want it to go. I think that's honestly good enough. But I'm going to create a nice little room down here. Where they can all just hang out for a bit. Well, I would then make the villager trading hall connected to this. So, yeah. So this is a pretty decent sized room for right now. I am going to put water down there so they don't like die of fall damage when they come down. But I'm not going to do that because then they'll swim up and they'll cause blocks. They'll cause like a blockage up here. But I have a shear now so I can shear all of you and that was a pretty good amount of wool that we got there. No Mr. Chicken. 
No, Mr. Chicken. Literally, all of you guys are annoying. Move, please. Yeah, it's, it's here. Come over here. Come over here. Mr. Chicken. Okay, fine. You can stay there. I really don't care. Okay, we got we got a few beds. I am going to have to move you out so you can have more. I can't talk right now. I am going to have to move those sheep eventually out of there because I'm going to need to make sure they have more grass down there. Because I don't think once they eat the grass that is down there, they literally are going to have none left. Because there's no grass blocks that would be able to reach them. So soon I'm going to have to move them out in order to make more um, beds. But I just heard one eat. So that means I can shear him. Yoink. I didn't need to drop down here. That was totally pointless. But we have more fences that we can make. Or at least I should make more fences. Because we need a spot for these guys to actually roam a little more than they are right now. So, we can make a nice area over here. <gasps> oh, that was scary. I thought I just died. That was horrible. Okay, but here we go. There we go. That's a good enough pen for right now. So I'm going to take you all here. I really don't care about the chickens. I'll make a different pen for you later. Yeah, just literally get in there. Thank you. You too. Yep. Perfect. I'm going to use the few carpet I have to make us able to get in and out of this place. Now I can fill in this hole. I can deal with the chickens later, but actually I'll just throw you in right now. Why not? Chickens. Chickens, thank you. That went so well. Now we can go to bed. Perfect. Okay, this is all going well. This is all going really, really well. I have to make sure I keep sleeping on time because I don't want zombies to spawn and end up uh, zombifying, zomb zombieing, zombifying, zombifying. Haha. Words. I don't want them to zombify the villagers that we got over there because you are going to want to eat them and then you're going to turn them into a zombie villager and I do not have the resources to turn them back right now. So for right now, we can just dig all of this and make it all into farmland. And then I have a composter here. And then we stick another block on there and we put some torches here. And now we can stick an actual building around this place and I'm gonna make it look half decent not the most decent but eh. just so I can honestly probably have a view so I can make sure it's working I do have to remove all of these stupid trees that are in the way. And it looks like I put this on the wrong spot too. I'm going to have to... Oh, I have to move the chest. That's annoying. Where's the chest? Come on. Really? The chest fell down here. Okay. Here we go, chuck everything in here again. Now remove the things I need. I need more space. Oh, I'm freaking out. 
I have so much I have to do, and for whatever reason, I'm rushing. But I literally have no time limit on this. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, hi. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, it's not gonna hit that tree. Perfect. Now we literally just go like this. We connect all of them. And now we do it on the bottom. For right now, I'm just going to leave a little opening right here so we can actually get villagers in. And I think some of the sheep have grown back their wool perfect we can make some more beds everything is going well so we got beds there now i just need them to keep on eating i am going to add one more sheep in here make it an even number because that is how you have to do all things in life is make them even numbers Really, of course, it was the baby sheep. But we can throw some more potatoes in here. Okay, and now we can move the villagers up here. Eventually, I'm going to have to put a roof on that place, but we can move two villagers in here. Don't know how we're going to do it. I think, yeah, job site blocks. Um, where is a job site block? That is the question. I took the one from here so we can go across to there and make some or get one, whatever. Words are hard, words are hard, and thinking of them and then wanting to say them are, is even harder. But I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so swim across here, grab the job site block. Ooh, I can kill that iron golem for some more iron later and then eventually we're gonna have to find whatever that room is and then we're gonna have to completely excavate the whole thing for the villager trading hall but I'm gonna take you for right now and you want to go up here right no you wanted to get in your friend's boat yeah 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 Okay, the other one went to the other one, I think, or he's trying to. This is actually working so well. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yes. 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 Oh my goodness, that worked so well. Why? Why did that work so well? I think they're planting wheat seeds in there too. Why did you have wheat seeds? I don't want you planting wheat seeds. Just potatoes, okay? Just potatoes. That grow completely? Oh, it did. Haha. -ha. No more wheat seeds. No. Okay, so this will literally be up and running once we get enough potatoes to be growing at a steady rate. But it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I can come over here, shear you. You're going to need more space because you all eat too much grass. It's maybe that baby, baby sheep. That baby sheep is making is stealing too much grass. But now with all of this sand behind me, I'm going to create... A shovel because I want to make some glass I want to make some nice glass to go around this breeder now I think that's a waste of early game resources but I really don't care 
I'm gonna literally just get like a stack. I'm gonna get like a stack of sand in order to make enough glass. I know that's gonna be way, way overkill, but I just don't wanna have to do it later if I just randomly need glass. Did I get coal? Yeah, I got plenty of coal. So let's just slap this over here, start the furnace, and we can slowly just add onto it in order to make sure we have enough sand smelting in order to get like a stack of glass. Wow, my voice is starting to really hurt. It's It really is starting to hurt. Okay. We have enough. Right? No, I'm 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 short. Wait, how many how many already smelted though? Two? Okay, yeah. I need like five more pieces. Sweet. There we go. Now a stack is going to smelt. Look at that. Now what should I do for the roof? Oh, maybe I should put some blocks on it. That that would be a good idea. might put a sunroof in or a skylight whatever you want to call it I don't know sunroof that's in cars I don't know I'm actually just gonna fill it in I hope that there's enough light for the plants in there that's what the windows hopefully should help with and also so no mobs spawn I don't know where they would spawn because I don't think they can spawn on any of the blocks that are in there once I get all of the beds in there too but we can do that and now this is all covered up we can take the glass that will eventually all get smelted and we can slap it in all of the sides this tree is getting really annoying so I'm gonna move it but we can put the glass in all of the sides and it's gonna look just so nice when we're done look at that it's gonna look beautiful is it not and hopefully it should work I literally did not watch a tutorial for this I'm trying to remember a tutorial that I watched probably two years ago now. That hole is going to kill me. Even though there's no actual death in it, I'm just going to destroy it. Okay, one piece of wool. That's one more bed. Sweet. I would prefer that you all gave me three all the time, but Minecraft just likes to be difficult, right? I feel like whenever it can, Minecraft chooses to be difficult. That's just how it is. All this stuff is starting to clutter. I think I'll make my house like right over there or something. I don't know at some point. But now we can grab what we have here. Now I don't have any lava or anything of that sort to kill the iron golems. But I will eventually get stuff. So we'll be fine. Anyways, let's sleep quickly once the sun gets lower. Because it's not going to let me sleep. But then I'm going to make the iron farm quickly. And then I can make the trading hall connect to this villager breeder and we'll be all good. This is going to be a great first episode. Also, these pants, I totally forgot that I had them on. So we can run over here. Do I have a crafting table? Yes, I do. Wow. Okay. Hi, dudes. We can go all the way over here. I don't know why I have a wooden pickaxe. But now, literally, all we have to do is... I'm going to end up mining around all of this because I need to eventually uh, spawn proof the whole thing. I guess I don't really have to mine around it. I don't know. Whatever. And because I'm doing this, I can remove. I'm going to remove those fences eventually. But for right now, I'm just going to build the thing in here and then mine all the blocks that are unnecessary after. So you put the beds like this. I should have... I got to move them, actually. There we go. I need you to get in there, please. Please and thank you, get in there. No. Yeah. Literally everyone's doing it except you. Be cool. Thank you. That was honestly not a good thing to, to say. <laughs> everyone's doing it too. You should too. No, that's not. No. 
Say no to drugs, kids. Yeah. I gotta make sure I'm inspirational to all the young young children out there that are watching me tortured villagers. Not on purpose. No, 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 no. Y your bed's in there. You're not gonna be able to get back in. Don't you dare. That's what I thought. No. Oh, you psyched me out, huh? You think you can do that to me? No, stay. 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 No. Move. Do you want to go back in or not? I'm giving you the choice. Do you want to go back in or not? Because when you are, just let me know, and then I can let you back in. But for right now, you're stuck out here. I'm actually going to forcefully move you in there. I'm sorry. Not really that sorry, though. You ran away. This was your choice. This is the consequences of running away. So here you go. You can go in here. Any other villagers that decide to come out, you'll, you're, 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 you're going to be in this hole. So good for you guys. You escaped. You all are here. Why? Like, it doesn't make sense. Go back to your home. You literally should all be going in there right now. I don't know why you're not. Why are you all so annoying? Yes. Okay, we got a few in here. Stay. Stay. Yep, come on. Okay, well, I didn't mean to remove the water, but I did. Oh, why are villagers such a pain? I knew things were going too smoothly earlier. Literally everyone's in here except you. Go. Why do villagers got to do this to me? Everyone in. In, I tell you. No! Literally, you're so close. Oh my gosh, he did it. Finally, they went in. Okay. We can remove all of the fencing that was keeping them safe originally. Because now they're in a nice, big cobblestone box. And now when they're in that box, they can spawn iron golems. And I'm going to make it so that they spawn up only on top of their house. And... In order to do that, I'm literally going to have to mine around the entire thing and dig like a f something block deep hole. Or I can put slabs. It really doesn't matter which one I do, but I think I'm not going to dig the deep hole. I think I'm just going to make everything the same level, though. I will do that. Because I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... So this tree has to move. 
but I need to cover it in slabs and eight blocks in every direction so that it only spawns iron golems on top. So yay, this is what I'm going to be doing. We have to chop all the trees that are in the way, we have to dig a whole bunch of dirt because I want to make it flat and because I want to make it look good. Oh my goodness, why does everything have to break? Yep, that's right. I made an iron axe because I know I'm going to have to be chopping so much wood. I wish I had food. I have literally no food. Literally zero food right now. That's not good. So what I need to do is I literally need to go one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. Yep, I need to dig this many blocks, people. Where that hole is, I need to dig. They're spawning so many iron golems. Oh my. Okay, so. What's eight blocks in this direction? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alrighty. There we go. You go this way, and I'm going to have to make a whole bunch of slabs in order to mark everything. Well, that's also what I need to use for the actual blocks, but you know what I mean. There's so many iron golems, you're all going to die, by the way. Just saying. Okay, so it goes there. That's where it meets up. Sweet, okay. And now I need to go the eight blocks that's over here. And I need to dig it to, I think literally this block where this tree is. No, I need to go one more block. Okay. That means this tree needs to move. And we have to remove this whole chunk of land that's here. Once all my tools break, I'm killing these iron golems because I need, I need stuff. Actually, I can do it right now. Oh, uh, I wish I had a sword. That's it. I'm I'm taking the time right now and I'm making a stone sword just because I'm going to end up replacing it later with an iron one once I finish this. It's just going to make my life so much easier. I got to be really careful when doing this though because if I fall, they're going to want to kill me. And I would be so dead. Okay, it's bedtime, and I'm lazy, so I'm going to go in here. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Oh, there's only four beds in here. No! Crap, okay. Uh, I have to make it bigger. I have to make it one block wider, it looks like. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, I can't sleep though. I have to extend everything by one block. Yay! 
I love making mistakes that I have to spend lots of time later. Where did you come? What? Wait, what just happened? Did he just... Did you... Did... How did he get out? Someone tell me how that villager got out, please. Either way, I need him to get back in, so... If you could be so kind... Mister, please get back in your home. It'll probably stay like that until it's nighttime or something like that. But there we go. This is going to be... This is it for right now. We can construct this now more um, words. Yes. I do have to extend this though. So you need to make one of those. I need to make one of these. And we need to make one of those. I do need the hoe though. Okay, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's eight blocks. So there we go, that's eight blocks there. And now we gotta just mine up all of these blocks. Gotta keep doing this and we're I feel like we're close, but we're really not we're really far away from finishing this It's because I have to make it all the same block I could have just put slabs over all of the blocks in eight directions and it still would have worked. Where did that villager go by the way? I literally have no idea where that one villager went how many do we have in here one two three four yeah, okay So one did escape. I need him to get back Please. With the cherry on top. I don't know where he went. Hmm. Okay. I need food. I'm gonna go get food. I, <laughs> I'm literally gonna die by procrastinating to not get food. Here we go. Oh my. I, I feel like I almost just hit that iron golem. It does not do that much. I know I can cook it, but I literally just want to work on this right now. But I need food in order to not die. Because if I fall now from too far, I will die. That is not what we want. Now, now I'm getting some health back. That's good. But I feel like this is my hardcore experience every single time. It's just me starving all the time. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. I, I counted wrong, horribly wrong just then. But we're good. I'm gonna have to remove this entire house just to make this look nice. See the dedication that I put in everybody? See, see that dedication? I'm gonna remove this house because it's literally one block or one, 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 yeah, it's one block too far over. Yeah, so we're gonna remove this now. 
This is too much work that I'm putting myself through, but I really don't care. This is fun. We're still having fun, right? Everyone's having fun. My voice is really starting to hurt, though. It's kind of funny. I didn't think I was going to be taking that much of a toll just talking for a few hours straight. Hmm. Oh, the more you know. I guess, yeah, try try sitting there talking for a few hours just to no one, just to a screen, and try and think of things to say that are entertaining and make sense and... Yeah, your voice, your voice will start to hurt. At least I think I'm trying to be entertaining. I don't really know. I don't 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 know. One of my favorite phrases because I never know. I am a clueless, dumb child. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of smart. I like to think so. Okay. I say I'm kind of smart, and right now I'm literally destroying a house just because I didn't want to do an easier option. So smart. I want to make it look good for my audience, even though I don't have many people that watch. But if you watch this video through, that helps me out a lot, and it helps me grow my audience and also get closer to my goal of 4,000 watch hours, which is so insane, it's so hard to get. YouTube is super hard to do, but I hope I can do it with your help. I, I wonder how many people are actually watching the video through right now. I hope I hope people are. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I plan to make quite a few of these because I'm literally going to go until I die, so... I think we should go for a pretty long time. Because I... I am dumb, and I'm not good at the game, but I'm kind of just good at sitting and doing nothing, or being safe while sitting, or whatever. I just, I'm doing my projects, but I'm being safe. Yes. I do need to get these trees out of the way. That's one of the annoying parts, is I got all these trees in my way. Making my life so much harder. But all we gotta do is just mine a couple hundred more blocks and then finish the iron farm and we're good. We're golden. So to the people that are watching right now, what do you enjoy to do in Minecraft? Because I'm sitting here digging blocks right now, I was bored, so I thought I'd ask you a question. Like, what's one of your, like, favorite things to just randomly do in Minecraft? Because I feel like there's so many things that, like, are fun, but they're just so weird. Like, I enjoy just, well, mining blocks is just kind of satisfying, and it can be kind of calming. When I'm doing all these big projects, and then all of a sudden I gotta just mine. It's kind of nice that I just get to sit back and relax and just mine. Even though right now I kind of have to talk because I'm trying to make this as entertaining as possible. Iron! Would you look at that? That's crazy. I just realized I don't even have like a cup of water or anything. I would, I would, a cup of water would be nice but I don't have anything like that near me. At all.
Okay, yeah. Wow, this is taking a while. I didn't think that it was going to be that much, honestly, work clearing this. It is aggressive. It is very, very aggressive. And let's take a break from bl breaking blocks. Get it? Take a take a break from breaking blocks. Haha, <laughs> I'm funny. Laugh. But we can actually just place some blocks now because... Well, we need to. Also, if you ever occasionally hear a big kind of thud, um, I accidentally bump my mic sometimes and it, it makes a weird noise. Like an empty, like hollow metal noise, whatever. So occasionally you'll hear that. I think you might have just now if I because I just bought my mic, but I don't know if it, So sometimes it doesn't make the noise depending on where I like accidentally hit it. So I'm just letting you be prepared. Cause I don't make any cuts. Everything is all regular old Minecraft. I need to go to bed. Did that villager ever make it back? He did. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm really, really impressed that he actually made it back inside and that worked. Because that's what I was waiting for. No, no escaping, no escaping, no escaping. Yay. What? How? Okay, how many do I got? Oh, I think it's because I don't have corners. That's, um, yeah, it's definitely because I don't have corners. So what I'm going to do for you is make you a nice stepping stool and you can get in, okay? And this will be for tonight. Got it? Mister? Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. So here we go. We can move the villager over here and we can keep him here until it's nighttime and he can just walk right up here and go back in because how many? Yeah, we got four in here again. I think it's because I don't have any corners and they sleep in the corners and it teleports them outside. But now that we have corners, we should be good. I think it's funny that it happened twice though. But it's because I'm dumb. Yay! Also, you you may see cuts in my video. Um, and the only time you would is actually... I know it's uncut Minecraft, but that's just because I sometimes start and stop my recording. Because so far I have yet to stop my recording since I've started playing in this session. But when my voice is dying, like it's starting to right now... I'll occasionally stop recording, take a break, and then I'll record a little bit later because I don't just sit and record because most videos, they have like up to 10 hours of footage that I edit down. Now these, I'm are they're just raw clips, so I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna edit them and it's just gonna end up probably being, I'm, I think I'm gonna keep them around like a little over an hour to like two hours long each, but like there's no editing, so I'm, I'm not going to record all of these. Some of them might go. I might just record the whole thing and I might be able to. But sometimes I need a break. So if you do ever see a cut or anything like that, that is what it most likely is. And I'll try to mention it when I like before I do it. And like after I do it, like when I start recording again, I'll be like, if you saw a little, a little doodad there, that's just because I needed a break. Because my voice is dying. I feel like I almost just died. Oh, I oh, I had an axe, right? That's what just broke. No, pickaxe. Pickaxe just broke. I just made a new shovel. Hmm. I'm going to need more food soon. I'm really going to need more food soon. I just need to get a few more things done. When I finish this iron farm, I'm definitely taking a break. I'm definitely taking a nice break in order to restore my voice. 
but I feel like we're getting really, really close. Really, really, really close. I don't have any lava. That's right. I'm going to have to search for some at some point. Because that's what you need to kill the iron gall. I guess I could use like campfires, but I don't know. I, c I could do that, but that's just I like that's weird. Or I don't know if it could work. I don't know. I could use campfires, but I think I'm going to go with lava because that's just how I've always built this one. This is the best starter iron farm in my opinion. There's better iron farms, of course. Like if you've seen my survival series, which you should totally go check out after you watch this video. But um, that iron farm is insane. I love that one. That one's crazy. It gets four iron golems every like 45 seconds. And it's super, super, super nice. It's the same one Mumbo Jumbo used in season seven of Hermitcraft. And what I ended up doing, because there's no actual tutorial for it, is I watched the video that he linked in the description, which is I think an Il Mango video. And Il Mango doesn't show you how to use it. He just shows you the design and he shows you how it works. But I ended up just studying that video enough and taking so many screenshots, I was able to reconstruct it in my own creative test world. And then I ended up just putting it and building it. Like I was able to make a completely working replica of the design. And I was able to put that in my world. And that's the same one I've been using. I've had a light Matica of the same one ever since. And I just keep it in one of my creative worlds. And I just take screenshots and rebuild it on survival worlds. But now we can place in all of the slabs because we finally, finally finished digging all of the blocks. I'm so relieved. We just need to place the last of these slabs and we're done. Well, no, we're not done. We still have to build the whole farm part, but you know what I mean. We're done with all of the mining. Yay. I hope this should be enough slabs. Because if not, that's actually insane. I forget how many slabs it is. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a little more than an 8x8 eight because eight there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... So it's 16 plus 5, 21. 21 by 21. I don't want to do math in my head right now. It's it's that many slabs, by the way. 21 times 21. I don't want to figure it out. Okay, we're so close. Here we go. Come on. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're so close. Really? This wasn't enough slabs? You're joking. Okay, so I'm going to need one, two, three there. And then another three. I'll make 18. I think that's overkill. But we're good. So I can place the slabs there. And then once it's nighttime, we can move this villager finally back into his home. Where he's going to stay for all of in and eternity. Now, I think that's not going to be enough uh, walls. There we go. Okay, so I need the hole open, but... Oh, that's right. I need to place a block and then get on the wall. Oh, I don't like that I can't jump onto walls. It's kind of annoying. It makes sense, but I don't like it. I knew I was short 
walls. Here we go. Come on, just a few more. I think that might be overkill, but 18 again. Yeah, because I only need one, two, three, four, and then five, six. I literally only need to make one batch or whatever. Are you ready to go back to your home? Yes, you are? Okay. Um, just as a precautionary measure, I'm gonna put some blocks around here. Now, I don't think you're gonna be able to get out anywhere. So, here we go. You can go up. You can go into your home. Uh, I kind of need you to, so. Thank you. Wow, that went so smoothly. That was, that was awesome. Okay, he actually went back in, and I didn't need to wait for it to be nighttime. So literally all we need, because I can go over here, I can make some signs. Really, I'm a block short. Of course I am. But I can go over here once I'm done mining up all of these blocks. I can go in there and I can create a spot for the lava to go. And I do have enough for the hopper as well. Which is perfect. So I can go in here and let's put it here. Go like this. Place that there. And now I need another chest. And instead of that block, I can put the chest. Now you can open it and that's where all the iron is gonna go when we're done with it. So we can place the last block there and we can remove all of these. Place that there. Literally one more thing we have to do, I forgot. You take the water, you place it in, and I'm trying to swim against it, there we go. Now it goes correctly, you place the lava here, they get burnt, they drop everything into there, it goes into the chest. Happy days. Happy, happy days. But, I need to wait until we actually have lava. So I have this guy over here for right now. He's just going to kind of chill because I don't want to kill him right now. Mainly because it's too much work. But I'm going to go back up there and go to bed. I need food so bad right now. Like it's actually insane. I need to eat these potatoes. I don't care that I could have used them to farm. I just needed to eat these potatoes. Oh, I forgot we had glass over here. Okay, so go to bed. Go to bed. Get the glass. Okay, so this works, right? I have no idea if it's working or not. I'm going to leave one gap here. So I can put the beds, which... Do we have enough of... Where'd the baby sheep go? Did he escape? How did you escape? Can can they can they get on these? They actually might be able to, I really don't know. Maybe he grew up like in a fence or something. I I really don't know. I need you to come here though. I need you to get back in here. Please. Yeah, you can do it. There you go. Okay, we have five pieces. So we can make another bed. I don't know why they're just chilling there. But hopefully, 
Okay, some potatoes have grown. That's good. I'm gonna farm some of these real quick. Because I'm gonna help you out here. Once I have this completely full, it makes our lives a lot easier. And it makes their lives a lot easier as well. Then they just need to get 32 potatoes and they're able to mate like every single day. And it's super nice. So we can put the glass in. Wow, I had to miss two blocks there. And then it can go in there because eventually we're going to need more. But I am going to check on how it's doing on the bottom side. But I need food. So I'm going to kill these fishies. And I'm going to actually cook them this time. I got to make sure I don't drown as well. Because I literally take like one thing of damage and we're toast. So he can go up here and oh my goodness. They've already they've already got their wool back. Yay. How much was that? Oh. We got a bunch now. I think that might be able to finish it. No, I need just a few more. Where'd the other bed go? Did I leave it up here? I made two. Aha, there it is. And I heard someone eat wool. Or <laughs> eat wool. Eat grass. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. We did it. We created... A villager breeder. I think it's gonna work. I really honestly don't know. Need one piece of glass there. Okay, so we got all the beds in place, and I'm gonna check out what's happening down at the bottom of the breeder in a second once I get some health up. Yes, yes, good. Oh, yay. Okay, so what's happening here? We have a chicken in here. That's what's happening. That's like literally it. I, I, I think it's just because they don't have enough potatoes in their inventories yet. Like as the villagers. So I think it's just going to take some time and hopefully they'll be able to breed. Because I think... Yeah, they're going to be able to. It, it, like, everything seems like it's going to work. I wonder if it might be too short. I hope not, because sometimes that can be a factor. If they have bo blocks above them, it can sometimes affect their breeding. So we'll have to keep watch of that. But for right now, I think I am going to take a break. So it literally is going to be not even a second when I'm back, but... It's going to be a while for me because my voice hurts. After a nice break, we're loading back into the world. As you can see, literally in the same exact position as when I left. I'm trying to make everything as smooth as possible for this whole entire video. Because I like I wanted to show you all, there's no cuts. Absolutely no cuts. That's the whole entire point. Except for the fact that I need breaks occasionally. So One thing I do want to do, because so, we now have this all done, I do want to just wait around and see if it's going to work because there's a chance it does also a chance it doesn't so if we just I'm going to create like a little opening up here or I'm on the bed side that's going to make this challenging because all I want to do is really drop down into here
because down here I don't believe we have any villagers yet. We have a chicken. Not anymore. So well, all we got to do is just wait until we eventually get a chance for the villagers to breed up. Which should hopefully be soon. But I really have no idea. Like, they should hopefully be breeding soon, right? At least I think so. But anyways, we can... Because we have the villager trading hall now to build. That is what we have to do next. So we have the villager breeder that goes down. And... Oh, when I was down there, I was meant to get what the Y coordinate was. I need to figure out what the Y coordinate is at the bottom here. So, 65. Okay. 65 is the coordinate for the floor down there. And now as long as I align the rest of the trading hall with that, then we should be good. So if I drop down here, 62, 63, 64, I think a block lower can be good. But I'm literally just going to clear out this whole like front area. And we're going to make it like a few blocks tall. But it's going to be essentially just right here at this level. And then, yeah, it'll go up a few blocks. But we'll be able to fit all of the villagers in here. And then it's going to make our lives so much easier. Because the breeder is just going to go straight into this. And then we can take whatever new villagers we get. And put them into the slots for the eventual trading hall. So I'm just going to get to mining here. And then we do need to find lava at some point. Because I need that iron farm to like actually work. Because right now it's not going to work if it doesn't got any way to kill the iron golems. And that's kind of a problem. So we're going to have to figure out how to solve that by well, literally just finding lava at some point. So I don't know where exactly the villager breeder is. Because I think it's like probably going to be more on the side than I think. Because I... I saw on the coordinates when I was looking at this, like, it's in here somewhere, but I don't know how deep or, like, how far over it is or anything like that. So I'm really just going to have to kind of just have some luck when I'm mining here. I can also just always go up there and kind of figure out, but that's too much work. It's too much work to get the actual coordinates of it. I'm just going to dig out a big room and kind of see how it goes and then we'll eventually put the villagers in here and then we'll get the breeder connected and it'll all work out. We'll be good. Oh, I need a new pickaxe though. Hey buddy, how's it going? Okay, I really can never tell if they're about to breed or like when they are do i not have any more iron or do i i thought i had more iron it might be in the chest that i kept down there but i believe that villagers like they try to breed like every morning so i think when it's getting nighttime that's good because we can actually see if the farm does work i really thought i had i oh i put it in this chest that's right where is it there it is. I put the two iron that I had in this chest. But I am going to have to kill this guy right here. Because I need some iron. I keep missing. It's kind of sad. There we go. Here we go. And now I just got to go up here. And yeah, so if I go to bed, there's a potential that like every morning I think they like try to breed or something like that. I just want to see if the farm is ready for that. If they don't, it mainly means they don't have enough like potatoes in their inventory yet because they need 32. 
in order to start breeding and they might not have enough because there's not enough potatoes that have grown and they've farmed and stuff like that because they just keep replanting them which I think might be the problem so I think I do have to wait until they are until they have more potatoes so one thing I can do is I can keep on farming the potatoes kind of like for them and making sure that we fill up all of the slots because once we do that then they'll just start keeping the potatoes and only replanting them but they'll end up making more potatoes than they like need or whatever and it's complicated but I think I'm making it sound more complicated than it really is so I am going to get back in here because I, I really want to find out the coordinates for this Because right here, when you go right here, it's 622, negative 31. Alright, we should be good there. 622, negative 931. That's what we need to get to. I do need food. Really, really bad. That is still a problem that we have not solved. So we need to go over here and what are our coordinates over here? 621 and then it's way back here because then we'll go to yeah there we go I found it and all we gotta do is just make a nice little area here around it what I'm actually gonna end up doing is I'm gonna put glass right here and then we can be able to move the villagers in and out I should have put a door on there and I probably will eventually but for right now we can just keep it as glass but now I know where the villagers are gonna end up and I know that it's gonna connect to the villager trading hall so I think it was good that we found out where this is so I can just put this back and we literally just have to mine out straight this way until we reach the edge because I think I'm gonna just make this the edge of the villager trading hall I really don't know what dimensions I want to make it but this is already gonna be pretty big considering how much I've mined in the other direction and I don't have the facet of tools to do it so I don't want to make sure I, I want to make sure that I don't give myself too much of a workload right now using my iron tools as I've already, I feel like, done that enough with all of the other things that I've had to do as I've already built an iron farm, I've already got a villager breeder, which I don't even know if it works yet, and now I'm just digging out a whole bunch of space for this villager trading hall. I hope this all ends up working how I imagine it to. I think it should because it's Minecraft. I can literally do whatever I want in it, but... I just want it to look very nice and I want it to look how I want it to look cuz I'm thinking yeah so this is gonna be like the back corner where the villagers come in and then I'm probably gonna connect it to some sort of system through there that sorts them into a long thing on the walls like you can make some automatic villager like they like automatically puts them into their slots and it makes it super super easy for you but I don't know because those those require a lot of redstone like materials. I think you can also probably just do it manually just by putting them in one by ones. So I, I don't really know what I want to do for the villager trading hall yet. All I know is that I need to mine out all of these blocks. And that is going to take a while. Because I'm probably going to end up wanting to making it like another full block higher. But I just don't know if that is what I actually do want to do though. I don't know. There's a crafting table right over there. But I'm going to make another one. There's also a crafting table over there and over there. I'm really good at just making random crafting tables everywhere. But I just needed another chest for all my stuff. I have too much resources all scattered around right now. But that is because I need, I don't actually know, that is just because I'm lazy. It's because I don't have a central storage area for anything right now. I just have three chests that have all of my stuff. 
and most of it's cobblestone and dirt. Also, if you can tell that my voice is a little different from the last time I was recording, or like before I took my little break, um, it's because it's like a full day now, and I just woke up, so I might be sounding a little bit different, but I honestly have no idea how I sound compared to other times. But yeah, it's, it's the next day since recording the last time. And now I'm just, it's early in the morning and I'm recording because I want to get this done. Because I think we should be almost done. I think you're probably about an hour and a half in right now. A little more than that if you're still watching, which thank you for still watching. This is very, very, very helpful for me. But hopefully it shouldn't honestly be that much longer. I mean, you can just look at how long the video is going to end up being. I have no idea because I'm literally recording it right now. But I plan to make it between one and a half to like, or like an hour to two hours, I think, is each episode is what I'm kind of aiming for. So I want to see if I can get the villager trader done. And then I think that's literally going to be it for this episode. I don't even know if I'm going to completely build it. I just want to make sure that the villager breeder is working. And I want to make sure that I have this all dug out. And then that probably might just be the end of the episode there. Because I have played... A lot of Minecraft already. But then I'll probably just start recording episode 2. <laughs> this is going to be a fun series. I know it's not going to be the most successful series. And it's kind of just an experiment. It's like I don't think that I'm going to get the most amount of views on this. But I just think it'd be fun. And it was just like to kind of prove a point. Is that like some people could be cheating. We never know. Like I don't know just a thing and I just have a little bit more to mine I thought this was gonna actually take a lot longer than it did we just gotta mine the next like three blocks over for all of these so like three by three and now that's like one full row completely gone and now I just gotta do it two more times I don't know about you, but when I mine, I just mine in like super random and sporadic like ways. It's just because I feel like it makes me like mine like or like keep my mind on the task more or like I don't get bored if I mine if like if I just mine in a line the same way every single time. Like I feel like that'd get boring and I kind of just get tired of that. So like I'll like change it up randomly and most of the time it doesn't really end up affecting any sort of progress that I'm making because I just switch to whatever block I'm mining like super fast so it doesn't actually cause any sort of problems. I think I am actually going to mine up this last part mainly so it's flush with the top of the glass because then it just looks weird if they're like a block above and the rest of it is like kind of sitting weird. So... I'm going to kind of mine this up. Well, I guess I don't need to do that there. But um, another reason I made it one lower is because I'm just going to place blocks being the floor. So technically, I have to mine two blocks high right now. Which is kind of annoying, but it was going to happen if I actually wanted to make a nice like roof on the place. Like with a ceiling that's probably just going to end up being made out of wood, but... In order to do that, I have to mine out a whole nother layer of blocks, which it's not going to be that bad. I mean, I got I got you guys as company. You guys got me as company. So how's your day going? Hope it's hope it's going pretty good. My day just started, so we'll see whatever I do today. I really have no plan. No plans for the day. So it should be fun. It's a lot easier to just mine the dirt. Oh, yes. I enjoy the dirt that I have to mine here because it makes my life seem a lot less repetitive. I feel like, I don't know. It looks like we got a whole layer. I think the whole next layer is going to be almost all dirt. Like, there's some stone, it looks like, but not as much as the last couple of layers, so... That is very, very, very nice. We're almost done with this first layer, I think. We're getting close. I don't think I have any more iron, though. Because that iron farm's not working, and I don't have any other, like, 
um, iron golems just kind of wandering around, I don't think. I think I killed them all. And so I need, I need to get that farm working. I really, really do. And so those other two villagers that we have over here, I think that these two are going to end up being in a potato farm because I need food and I think an automatic potato farm would be the best way to do that. But what I can do is I can go in here. I know I'm going to break the glass, it's sad. But we place the block back. I do have glass still in my inventory. And I'm just going to mine up some of these potatoes for them. Just make their lives a little easier. Because they, they do the job, but they can sometimes be a little slow. And once I fill up this whole entire area completely full of potatoes and the, like the plants will just constantly grow and they'll just gather all of the extra potatoes instead of having to replant all of them so i literally need four more potatoes do i have any bone meal i think i have some bone meal in this chest over here i am going to go to bed as well but i think we have bone meal we should i think we should uh we don't we have a composter though and we have too many pumpkin seeds. Okay, we got one piece of bone meal. I don't want to use the spruce saplings. Um, pumpkins. There's still pumpkins somewhere, right? So I can get more. Yeah, there's pumpkins over there. I can compost these. These are really good for composting. That's why I want to use them for a bone meal farm. Because they each do a complete layer. Like almost every single time. And it's so nice. Like 20 pumpkins just got me um, two pieces of bone meal and then a little extra in the next for the next batch of composting. So I want to choose some tall plants. Even though this plant, that almost just did it. Okay, uh, yeah, there we go. Wow, that one gave two potatoes. The perfect amount. So now there you guys go. All they have to do now is farm, and then they just keep the potatoes that they end up getting. So it's going to make the farm work a lot faster. There is a chance, like I was saying, that the roof is too short, and that can sometimes affect the breeding. But I think I'm going to chance it for right now and see if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to raise the roof one more. But I can replace that, and now we can get back to mining down there. I think there should be an iron golem, if I built the farm correctly, there should be an iron golem just sitting in there right now. But I don't have any way to kill it right now except for using my own methods. Meaning I'm going to stab him. Yay, I was right. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I got to do this. Normally lava would do this for me, so... I don't got really any of that right now. But once we get the lava in, that'll make our lives a lot easier. So here we go. Got some nice iron because I know that I'm just going to have to make another pickaxe for when we're mining here. So I can make a little bit of sticks real quick. And there we go. We have a backup pickaxe and we don't need a backup shovel so I can just hold that extra piece of iron because we're gonna need it for something but I doubt I'll need another shovel because I have another one in my inventory right now even though I just switched it because my other one broke I'm just repeating everything you just saw so it's kind of pointless but now we're back to mining oh yes so entertaining Wow, that really had one break left in it. Wait, did it work? Oh no, I thought that I thought that I heard villagers close. Then I think it's because they're above me. Okay, I just need them to start doing the potato thing. I hear them mining potatoes and farming potatoes. But I need them, how they breed is when they get 32 potatoes, carrots, or bread, and then I think also beetroot, but I honestly don't know. They start throwing it back and forth to each other. And then for whatever reason, they have a, a baby villager. So 
and then the baby villager wants to jump on the beds and then it's gonna get it's gonna think that it can just walk right over there because of the trap doors but actually will fall into the hole and be brought down here so we gotta make sure we hopefully catch them trying to breed soon that's why i think if i just get some if i get a whole bunch of composted stuff and then i turn it into bone meal or like if i kill some skeletons or something like that i can make some bone meal and then i can just make sure i have 32 potatoes i can give it to them right there and then i can see for myself if it does in fact work so we mined out this area, so that's good. I can chuck some of this in here. I don't need all of this. I can take those because I'm going to compost them. Okay, and now I'm going to grab these pumpkins. I still have the pumpkin plants, so we'll be able to grow those still. And honestly, hi cat, you're stuck in here. I can, okay, don't want to be helped. But anyways, we can go over... Where's my composter? Because they just sit like that all day. They just stare into each other's eyes, but... I don't think they're gonna breed. Okay. What else can we compost? Uh, I mean, I have plenty of spruce trees around me. I think I can compost some of the saplings. So here we go. Come on. I really hope that I have... There's some skeletons that I can kill. I need there to be some skeletons around that I can kill because... That makes getting bone meal so much easier than this composting thing. Which is a cool feature and it's very nice when you have hoppers and they can do it automatically. But it's not nice when you're super low on bone meal. And you just need some right now. Is there a cave or anything I can go into though? In order to kill some skeletons. Hmm. Where can I go? I'm trying to think. I don't think I've really seen any caves nearby uh, recently. So, okay, yeah, this food, this food problem is a pretty big problem. Oh, there's one piece of bone meal. I got some chicken eggs. Yay. I can make a chicken farm at some point. But I don't have all the necessary materials for that. Okay. I have some sweet berries in a chest. I need to make just a simple sweet berry farm. Which is literally just putting them in a few rows. But I just slap some. I like to put some uh, slabs on top. Because that makes getting them really real easy there's also some more potatoes and wheat over here i guess i could have also just planted all of those wheat seeds and then eventually just had a sustainable way to get some bread but i did not do that so there's some nice sweet berries over here and we can slowly walk over there and get them I get that this is a feature in minecraft but i also don't like that this is a feature in minecraft that you walk super slow when you're hungry so i'm gonna eat one so i can kind of sprint so we can put those there and i'm not gonna use my bone meal on them because they grow incredibly fast i think i have some more up here in this chest yeah i have three more sweet berries and then i have some of these and i'm gonna make some slabs that's a lot more slabs than i really needed to make but if I do rows down here, all I got to do, so we have four here, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can do rows of eight. So all I got to do is put the blocks here and put the blocks here. There we go. And... I am going to extend them by two blocks in every side because that means we can put some nice decorative pieces of fencing down 
But then you do this and then they get completely grown and then you can walk up here and you can farm them without getting pricked by all of the bushes. And sometimes it's annoying to grab the pieces so I also like to just mine out the bottom here. Just in the middle between. It also just makes it look a lot nicer. But you mine it out here and you take some of your extra slabs which I don't have because I made actually the perfect amount. So I think I have some cobblestone slabs somewhere. Like I've got to. I know that I've got to have cobblestone slabs somewhere. Where though? Where? We do have some of the spruce stairs. I think I can just make more slabs. I'm going to need 30 more. So there we go. I love that I paid attention at basic multiplication because now I can make the perfect amount of slabs anytime I need to. 5 times 6, 30. Oh yeah. Math. But I have to mine out these extra blocks. Of course, we got to be right by the water. But we can put those there. Put them like that. And I didn't need 30. I thought I had three rows. I only needed 20. Oh, okay. So I guess, yeah, I paid attention to multiplication, but not just simple counting. Oh, well. And there's another pumpkin that grew. We can compost all these and hopefully get some more pumpkins, which I could honestly make into a lot bigger scale of a farm down there just for the composting aspect of it. So I think I might do that. I could do that. I think I have some seeds over there. And I also have a lot more pumpkins over here. So I can just go through and get all of these. And then there's some more seeds I know that are going to be in this chest. And now I have to run over here. How did you get out of a boat? Oh, he has a trident. Those are so deadly. Was he shooting at you guys? Okay. Um, That's not good. That's really not good. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm just going to go to bed. It's okay if they die, I have a villager breeder. It's okay if they die, I have a villager breeder. I don't want them to die, but it's okay if they die. Okay. Go to bed, just go to bed, just go to bed, just go to bed, just go to bed. Okay. Quickly, we have to make this farm now. There's my hoe. It's not really much of a farm. It's literally just going to be me putting down some. Oh, he got turned. Okay. Sorry, buddy, but you're just going to end up dead. Um, you can kind of just wander. I don't really care anymore because your friend died. So. But now we can go through. We can gather up some of our nice sweet berries and we can plant them more. And we'll just keep doing that until we have a full bunch of sweet berries that's going to be really annoying i hope that goes away soon one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i need ten over here gotta make it look natural of course but we'll do ten there and then all we need is the pumpkin seeds And I need just a few more seeds. And now we can just keep a composter down here. And it should be nice and easy. I'm going to stick it actually right. I don't really have a good spot for it. That, that works. But we can compost all of the pumpkins that we get. And any of the extra sweet berries that we get once we have a stable food source. So hopefully this should work. Um, this is going to take a bit to grow though. I guess I didn't think about that. But that's what these are here for. That they planted. Woo. 
but we just can go through and keep on working through planting those. Can I get a piece of bone meal? Haha. Yes. Got to make sure I don't trample those. That would be bad. That would be so bad. But I think I got super sidetracked here. The whole entire thing that I was about to do is I was about to go in here and make sure that like I was going to just bone meal these and make sure I have 32 that I can just give to them. Then I can watch to make sure they actually have enough potatoes. So we can bone meal that one. I didn't mean to break that. That's sad. Oh well, it didn't really affect me too much. Can we get 32 potatoes? Can we? I gotta make sure I don't bone meal some duds. Okay, we're close. We're really, really close. They've gotta have some potatoes in their inventory though, right? Like they've got to have some potatoes in their inventory. So now I can see Okay, they're breeding, or they're trying to. The blocks above their head might cause a problem, and they did. Okay. I knew that was going to be a thing. I don't know why I didn't just change it earlier. I think I thought I could, like, maybe get away with it, but... Okay, what do we got in here? We have... Oh, I won't kill you guys. I'll just kill some of the fish. Or... Actually, no. There's kelp. I can just... Wait, I have berries. I literally just planted a farm. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Can you can you grow me some berries, please? Berries. I just need to be able to sprint. That's all I care about. There you go. I can plant the other one. I just want to sprint so now I can kill the fishes. Oh, that guy's still there. If he hits us, we're dead. If he hits us, we're dead. Berries! I need to figure out... I need to figure out a way to kill that guy. He does so much damage. But there we go. Now we have sweet berries. There's a bunch more over there, too. Ooh. I don't think I need that many, though. I literally just need enough to get my health up, and then I can replant them back over there at my little sweet berry farm. Okay, I didn't mean to plant those. That's kind of annoying. So, gotta carefully go over here. But now I'm gonna have to remove the whole entire top of that, and I'm gonna have to add more blocks, which isn't even gonna be that like the worst thing in the world. So. Thought I could land in that block. I could not. Okay, do we got anything else? No. Okay. All the sweet berries that we get from now on, we can keep and eat. Perfect. And then we have all of the lovely pumpkins growing. Of course, you are too far away from any of the water. There you go. Okay, so we gotta get our health up, then remove this whole entire thing, and then hopefully they'll be able to breed. So, yeah. I'm just putting some blocks on top mainly because I didn't want to get in here right now, but I am in here now, so. Okay, that is how you land on the ground without destroying any of the crops. Skill. I do want to see one thing. Did I, oh, I didn't mind that. I've got to mind these ones. Wow. 
of course my axe had to break. Do I not have any cobblestone on me? Oh, that's so annoying. Break faster crafting table. Alright. Cobblestone or some iron. Um, not enough of any either. Jeez. I have nothing right now. This is one of those weird parts of Minecraft where you literally are just so broke. You're so broke from everything. And I just need a few things to work out in order to get to be rich. Rich in iron, mostly. And food. That's the start of Minecraft. Yeah, you're, you're starving, you have no resources, and you are, question why you still enjoy this game. But you do still. You still love the game. Yeah, this is gonna suck, but oh well. Okay, so that's what I was trying to avoid. And now we just mine the whole entire roof. And most of it's covered, but we'll have to cover up the rest of it. And this is just gonna be a quick thing that I need to do, because then hopefully this will start working. I need it to start working, because I need to get this going. Because the sooner I get a bunch of villagers ready to trade, I can just get so many resources so fast. And I can get diamonds without even having to mine. It's going to be so, so nice. It's going to make my life so much easier. So here we go. Mining the roof. Having a great time doing it. This is taking a while, okay. I think we did luck out with like the perfect number of villagers. We would have, we would have had the two that were gonna become uh, potato farmers uh, for the automatic potato farm, but they kinda died, or one of them died because he got turned into a zombie and then burnt. The other ones I think just running around out there, but he'll probably die in the next couple of days at nighttime when I forget to like sleep for reason some reason or something I don't know but here we go finally done mining all of it except for of course when I misplace a block here we go just gotta finish up here and with a little hop skip and a jump we are out of here Yay, look at that. Nothing really changed. And is it becoming nighttime? Yes, perfect. That means they have enough potatoes so that tomorrow morning they should hopefully try and breed. This is good. This is so good. We're so close. We are so, 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 so close. I need you to set faster, please. Thank you. I don't get why the villagers get to go to bed before I do. Like, they, they try to, or at least. They, like, go to their beds before I'm, like, the game lets me go to bed. It's kind of annoying, but it's whatever. I don't know why I'm, like, one lower on this. But they're always over here. You're not gonna... Not gonna breed. Just gonna sit there. And waste my time. Yeah, is that what you're gonna do? I think that's what they're gonna do. I think they need another like 32 potatoes or something like that. What if I just give you four? Really, this game does not like me. There you go, potatoes. Really? Do I have to wait again? Come on. I just want this thing to work. 
That's all I want. Ah, uh, this is getting kind of annoying. You guys are becoming kind of annoying. It's okay though. We can go in here. Did that guy despawn? I really hope so. Because he was being kind of annoying. I'm jumping on the farmland so then the p pumpkins can grow all sorts of ways. Because I literally think that these two are like sharing a spot. So if I put a block here, they should be good. But we're good now. He just became a farmer villager. So I wonder what that means. I don't think they harvest pumpkins. So I wonder what he's going to do. Just kind of wander. Oh well. I am going to now bone meal some of these. This is my food source. So I don't want to bone meal them. But if I can get some bone meal out of it. Wow, that is a lot less effective than I thought it was. Okay. I'm going to save the rest of these until the last of this all grows. Or until this regrows. Because I'm starving all the time. I think I've clarified that, but... It's just what kind of happens, you know? It's a part of life. Gotta stop breaking these potatoes. Two more potatoes? That is that good? What about what about one more potato? You better not compost them, by the way. If you do, I'll find you. Wouldn't be that hard, because you're literally just stuck in here for all of eternity, so. You guys ready to do the thing now? No? Don't wanna? That's kind of annoying. I don't think you understand how annoying that is. Oh, I can... I can shear these leaves. I have no idea how effective this is going to be. But I hope it is effective. Okay, how many leaves did we get? There's got to be more. Now we can take the leaves and we can turn them into bone meal. Aha! Because we have a bunch. And they do pretty good too. I just got to click as fast as I can. Oh yeah, this is effective. I used my whole entire shears on this, and I think it was worth it. It will be worth it. I just need like 10 pieces of bone meal. Can you supply me like 10 pieces? That's all I need. I got one more stack. I don't think I'll end up getting 10. I think I'll end up getting like 7. I think it's also kind of a luck thing, because like sometimes it fills up a good amount, and sometimes it really doesn't. Oh, we actually got nine. That's surprising. Okay. But now we go into here. And we give them potatoes. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I gotta swap them. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, you should have enough potatoes now in order to do the thing. Right? Please, no, why? 
I think I gotta wait for it to be nighttime again. Where's the sun? I needed to go down faster, please. Please. Because I think they have enough potatoes now. Oh, this is annoying. This game really just doesn't like me, I don't think. It really, really does not like me. Only thing I don't like about sweet berries is that you can place them. And it's kind of annoying because... I need them to eat. And when I'm eating them, you hold right click. And to place them, you, you click... You click right click, so. Yeah. I think they should, they should, they should totally have enough potatoes now. There's like no way they don't have enough potatoes. Like, I think the last 20 minutes has been consisting of me trying to get them to. I'm just forcing them to take potatoes. Take that potato. That is the one potato you need, okay? And if not, here's more. Okay? Take those. Oh my goodness, those actually worked. Literally just need a few more potatoes. Please work. Yeah, please work, please work, please work. Yes, okay, no, 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 there's a hole there. Okay, we, <laughs> we blocked the hole, so we're good now. So the baby's gonna want to jump on the bed at some point, and then hopefully we'll fall into the pit of doom. So it's going to want, yes, it was going to jump on the bed, and now it's not, because it fell. And now it's going down below. Ha ha. Ha ha. And there he is. It works. It works. It works. Yay. Okay, that's literally... There's one more thing I want to do. And then I'm going to end the episode. We're getting a bucket of lava. We're getting a bucket of lava. And we're getting this thing working. That's all I got to do. I wish I had more food. But we, 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 we got some sweet berries and we're, we'll, we'll be fine. We just got to find a cave. Just got to find a cave. And hopefully it's a really randomly deep cave. Or like a lava pool. A lava pool would be pretty nice. Or a ruined portal. Or... Something. Literally anything. Something. Come on. I need a lava pool. Or a ruined portal. Or a really deep cave. Or a river. Not river. No, ravine. Where? Where could there be one? I think it's funny. I think we did find one like earlier on in the like episode like when we first spawned in but cave there's a cave there's a cave oh uh, is it a big cave though no it's not it literally just stops oh there's some iron oh i should have went to bed that's not good that is no good i really should have gone to bed okay Cave or a lava pool, cave or a lava pool, cave or a lava pool, please. Oh, uh, the cave's too small. The cave, I think, would also be too small. I just need one of those giant ones, you know? <gasps> oh, I see light. Please be lava, please be lava, please be lava. Oh, come on, 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 come on. There's mobs that just spawned. It's a ravine. It's a ravine. There's lava. Okay, that skeleton's going to want to shoot me. 
Yep. Yep. Okay, that's not a skeleton, it's a spider. Okay. We're gonna have to deal with the skeleton real quick. Yes, he died. Okay. Please stay away. I shouldn't have poured my water out back there. Oh my goodness, we did it. Now would be a very, very, very bad time to encounter like tons and tons of mobs. Oh, there's so many, there's so many, there's so many I see. There's so many mobs that 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 I see. Oh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Okay. Just keep swimming and eating. Why is there light here? Was there lava right there? Oh, there was. Okay. I didn't... They're literally... I was literally in there, and I didn't see that lava. That's kind of annoying. Okay. It's okay, though. We got lava. 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 I wish these berries had better saturation. I need a food source. I need a food source. <laughs> Okay. We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, 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 we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, 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 we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, 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 we gotta run, we gotta run, run, run. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see, I see, I see, I see it. I see my home. Go, 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 go. I'm going to bed first. I need to go to bed first. I don't know why I haven't moved into like a house or something. I'm just like wide out in the open up here, which is way more dangerous. Here we go. Go to bed, go to bed, go faster. Go to go to sleep faster. Come on. We just gotta bring the lava over there. This has been such a mission. Aha. Hey buddy, I'm just gonna... Actually, yeah, you can die. Alright. Oh, I placed that sign in the wrong spot. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I was holding the A button, but I think that's a pretty accurate description of how the iron golems are going to be feeling. And there we go. No! Oh, we were so close, and I didn't mine up these blocks yet. And they had to spawn one in. This shows you that it's going to work, though. Okay, I need to get rid of him. And he's up there. Oh, run, 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 run. Yep, follow me up here. Yeah, yeah, yep, get it. Really? I don't want him to hit me, but I need him to get up here. Cause he's down too low on one block. Yeah. I literally gave you a path. Use the path. Unless I can do this. Yeah, stay there. Come on. Yes. 
Okay. Now everything should be perfect. And now when they spawn in an iron golem, he will spawn up there and will be melted. Okay, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to kind of wait until that does happen. And in the meantime, I can get my health up. Okay, come on. Spawn an iron golem. Please. Oh, that, that would have been really bad timing. Imag could you imagine if an iron golem spawned right then and there? Like, that, the game totally would have done that to me. Really, you're just not going to spawn an iron golem right now? It's kind of selfish, you know that? Oh, I'm struggling. Okay. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it that it's going to work because, I mean, I've built this thing a million times. I don't make mistakes. I actually make a lot of mistakes. This is my third time recording the first episode because I've died multiple times. But anyways, our villager breeder is working. We have found a village. We have an iron farm that's going to be working beautifully. Like, everything's going to go well. We have another villager somewhere over there that we're eventually going to put into an automatic uh, potato farm, which I think I'm going to put, like, right over there or something. I really don't know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you made it this far, congratulations. You get a high five. Woo! Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. So make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!